this is from my Rosh Chodesh uh, Elo Shir, August uh, 30th, 2011, at given a Kevin Rashbi this morning. Bo uh, Hashem. Seder. Shalom, Boker Tov, Surab Nati from Pechemesh. Rosh Chodesh Elo. King is in the field. He's there for us to go out and schmooze with him, so uh, r we should be rushing out to the field to make contact with our king. <sighs> Unfortunately, we live in this uh, con construct called Olamaze. We live in this world, and uh, we have to overcome the the delusion, the heresy-induced insanity, if you want, if you will, that's created by our own self omnipotence we are created in the image, image we're told in the Torah of a Kodesh Boku, made us in his image. What does that mean? We're to, we to emulate a Kodesh Boku in this world. The whole of creation was only created so that you and I could be put down in this world and that we could do simsum, that we can constrict ourselves like a Kodesh Boku constricted himself, we're told by the sages, to create the whole of the, uh, of the universe. We have to come here and, and become bittal. The whole, our whole job, the tikkun olam, this thing that each one of us was sent down, every man, woman, and child that's come to this planet, that's ever come and ever and is here and will come in the future, are here to do one thing, and that's to reveal Hashem's godliness in the world by emulating Him, by becoming bittel to His Torah, and making room for Him to express Himself in this creation. What, Reb Nati? I, I have to nullify myself that God can reveal Himself? Yes. God created the world in such a manner that we, Mishpia here, we, are, we have some control or perceived control here. But we're, what we're supposed to do, though, the goal is not to, unlike, uh, unlike the Goyim, to, 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 to control things and to manipulate things. We have to come to a point where we're not in control. We're, we have to, in ourselves, convert ourselves over to the idea and understanding that we're not in control of everything, that God controls everything. He created the world. He moves the leaves across the street. When the wind blows, when, it, when, when, you, when someone runs out and grabs a rock and throws it out into the forest or skips it on the lake, that entity, that stone, had to be moved and you were only part of the process. Okay, don't, don't, don't delude yourself. Anyway, by, by going to Uman and, and making ourselves nullified to the Sadiq, uh, and a lot of people have a problem with the concept of the Sadiq, but Sadiq really, we, we don't need anybody to go between us and Hashem. The problem is because we've had immune-induced, this immune uh, deficiency syndrome which has induced us into a, into a heresy induced insanity this our own perception of godliness you know of, of control we don't see things clearly so the sadic the, the sadic's whole function okay is to show us how to connect to hashem the sadic's not hashem this is a christianized uh, uh, mentality of that the mashiach or the sadic is 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 a is a superior being the sadic is nothing more than a regular human being who has made himself bittal and connected to the Kodesh Bochum, that he's mavatled all his ratzon, he's nullified his ratzon totally, okay, to, to follow the, the will of, a, of the Creator. He reveals godliness in the world. He took Moshe Rabbeinu going up on Hartzinai, because this is the way God willed it, to bring God's revelation to the Bnei Yisrael in the desert. Okay? And a root of the tata, we, 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 we say in Hasidut, right? There has to be a, 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 an energizing, a, um, a, an arousal from below. We have to, the only thing that we have free choice over, mind you, is whether we're going to be bittal or whether we're going to exercise our egos, okay, in creation. We can exercise our egos here for 70, 80 years, okay, 120 years. And accomplish nothing except for concealing God's essence, His godliness, His light, 
in the world and making it more difficult for every other human being and every other part of the creation to exist. Okay? We need to nullify ourselves to the point that we don't have a shadow. Okay? One of the ways we, you know, we do this is by, is by going to Uman. Doing what the Sadiq told us, Rabbi Nachman bin Brestov told us, that if we come to Uman on Era Rosh Hashanah and we give some Sadaqah, which is breaking our Ratzon, the Sadaqah, and saying 10 Kapitel Tehillim, the Tikkun Klali, okay, the, the, these 10 special Psalms that Rabbeinu came to realize and reveal in the world that helped to rectify our, our mistakes. By doing this, we show the whole world that we believe in a Kodesh Bohu. And this is a tikkun for arrogance because it says, I and an arrogant man can't live in the same world together. God's, what does that mean? I and the arrogant? There's a plenty of examples of arrogance in the world today. Just look at the news, God forbid. You know, don't, don't look at the news. But uh, the, the fact is, is there's a, enough of a, a revelation of, of, of man's self uh, uh, believed uh, in omnipotence is control over nature, control over this. Look, we can leave the earth, we go up to the space station, you know, we can do this. It's all arrogance and kafira, people. Everything that happened to us in our lives from this second backwards is all based on arrogance because when we remember it, we remember it. I did this and I did that. I didn't do anything. Kodesh Bochu did it all. And the second half of that process which is everything that's in the future is all fear it's all heresy I will do we will do we are going to do right we don't know if we have tomorrow and let alone uh, 10 minutes from now we, we, we don't know what we're gonna do so it, it, it's it's a heresy it, it's something that's not true okay these two things are are, are, are negative midot that that are feed negative energy in the world okay as it were we, we end up feeding the clip, the very clip is the very things that the, the shells, these, um, these husks, these cr this crust, this, this um, intervening spiritual substance that we create through, through this mentality and the actions that, that come about through it, we end up c concealing Hashem in the world. We conceal Him from, from the world completely. But Hashem has mercy in every year and Elul says to the king, he's in the Sadeh, he's out in the field, he makes it easy for us to approach him. So don't waste these 30 days that we have, the next 29 days that you and I have in the world, okay, with things that are going on crazy at such a staccato pace now of, of events, uh, uh, natural, natural disasters and storms and, and financial collapses and political upheaval. I, I, I'll say it to you again, there is no political, financial or, or military solution to spiritual problems. The essence of our problem is spiritual. So if that's true, we have to look at the essence of these two negative midot that we just spoke about. One being arrogance, ga'aiva, uh, uh, okay, which says it drives God from the world because God says that I and an arrogant man can't live in the world together. God leaves. He takes away his blessing. You receive only the minimal life force it takes for you to continue to sustain your life, which means you are now living under the curse, just surviving the curse, okay? And praying for, for, for to be anesthetized, spiritually entertained and deluded so that you can just deal with the pain, what I call hospice mentality. We delude ourselves with those sports programs and the news and the soap operas and the movies and the traffic and the shtus. And, 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 and again, all these self-man-made created delusions of grandeur in the world. What we need to do is mavatel. We have to cancel this out so that we reveal godliness in the world. Because when we reveal godliness in the world, things get easier for the whole world. The animals even re receive the grasses in the field and the trees in, you know, out in the, out in, the, in, the, in the forest all receive more life force when you and I nullify ourselves completely as much as we can and, and connect ourselves to the Sadiq and emulate God's, God, God, God's uh, example in the world. He, he created Simsum out of his love for us, out of his desire to have a creation. He withdrew himself from a certain part of, of creation, as it were, okay? In, in a lim in, in, in he filtered himself out in a limited way. His light still comes down or ne none of us would be animated. We wouldn't be here at all. We wouldn't exist at all, okay? He pulled back the Orain Sof. And, and made room for us. 
God, that's what God wants from us. It's simple. He wants us to pull back from ourselves and create a space for Him to grow, to reveal Himself in the world. In our financial situation, to, to, to be less reliant upon work and upon, upon investments. And, and certainly we should not be relying on buying lotto tickets, okay? This is serious, serious, uh, <laughs> you know, gambling of any sort. Uh, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to browbeat anybody. But, uh, you know, gambling is like the, 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 the uh, you know, a, a huge pagamba emuna. We have to believe that God will, that God will, will uh, uh, provide for us. You know, money it was created in the world for us to give sadaqa, for us to give it to give, to, to now convert this very physical uh, 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 manifestation. You know, the goods we need, uh, the the food we eat, the clothes we wear. Uh, you know, to give it over to somebody else who's in need. This is also a manifestation of godliness in the world. You know, three things, you know, we're going to, the, the gula comes by tshuva, sadaka, and, 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 and unrestricted uh, um, deeds of kindness, okay? Total giving of oneself, again, a, a nullification process. This cancels out the, the spiritual power of Asaph, which keeps us in galut, which gives koak to the United Nations and, 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 and all the westernized Christian nations to, uh, that, that we're being plagued with right now. With all the events that are going on in the world, they still focus only on the fact that Jews exist in Eretz Israel. Okay? The nations want to take Jerusalem away from us. Don't kid yourself. We're, gonna, we're unfortunately going to see this very soon if we don't do tshuva. Okay? Um, so... We can cancel this out. We, need, we don't need armies and we don't need politicians to, to do this. And, and uh, we can cancel this out with, with, by, by bringing our, our, our gaiver, our, our, uh, our arrogance under control and, and canceling it out and realizing that, we, that, that God does it all. Hashem is eno, enod mil vado, right? The second thing is periodum, which is this, uh, we, we want to be unconstrained. And this is a negative, um, the negative meter. You know, you see all the immorality in the world today, and 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 uh, and people rebelling, kids rebelling. You know, it tells, it tells us a Mishnah Sota that the, the, the generation just prior to Mashiach is going to be a very rebe re, uh, rebellious generation. You know, it says in Parsha Hazinu, I believe, in in, in the Humash, uh, which we're coming up to the reading here soon. It says that it'll be a door of reversals. Okay. They're going to the the, the, the the generation is going to reverse. It's going to turn around on itself. Okay. So this is this is the spiritual clip of Ishmael, and and this is how we as Jews, God fearing people, we we give chizuk to the very thing that keeps us in galus right now, and and, and 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 is persecuting us physically in the land of Israel right now and around the world. We give chizuk to it by by this nature of periodum. So to cancel it out, we must learn. And teach Shochan Again, another stage of Bittel, which takes care of, uh, uh, you know, uh, arrogance. It also, now, we, we, we become submissive and, and bring ourselves under control, which is the opposite of, of being unrestrained. We restrain ourselves. Again, just like God made a Simpson, He restrained Himself. He filtered His laws, His being. Um, as he created His law to, to be able to give it to us in a palatable form in this, at this level of creation. God gave us the secrets to connect to Him, and it's called the Torah. Okay, Shochan Rabbi Nachman says that we have to learn minimum two, two halachas a day. This mavatels the periodum, the nature of periodum, which takes care of the second klipa that, that separates us from the gula right now and, and keeps us from having shefa in the world and, and is causing fear and panic in the manifestation of the Islamic nations. And I'm not downing anyone. I'm not saying anything negative about anybody, God forbid, politically or otherwise. I'm saying purely the spiritual essence of the situation demands for us to learn and teach Shulchan Aruch. Why not? It's easier to go buy weapons. It's easier to send out troops and to train, train armies and to spend billions of dollars on airplanes and, and ships and submarines when we can combat this simply by, 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 by controlling a, 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 a particular part of our personality and our, our existence and coming to the realization that yes, I am responsible for the world and its peace and by learning Shulchan Aruch and teaching Shulchan Aruch, I bring peace into the world this is the truth what you can't believe it then, then you're suffering seriously from heresy induced insanity which 
we need to cure if we want to and it's going to be cured you know it says on that day when when hashem reveals himself okay in, in the gula when mashiach was revealed it's going to be a day of das of, of total knowledge and understanding no one will have to teach each other torah because we're going to have a personal straight hook up with hashem at a different level than we are now okay but for now we have to hook up to the sadik we have to empower the sadik by becoming bitter to the sadik and the, okay and and, and coming closer to Hashem by the example of the Sadiq in the world. Okay? Next is the clip of, 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 of kfir, of, of, of uh, sorcery, heresy. This is, uh, this, this is connected to, uh, to Mitzrayim, the, the greatest of, of the sorcerers and the societies, of cultures of sorcery. Heresy was, was in Mitzrayim. This is why we have uh, this pre- um, prevailing... Uh, uh, culture of uh, you know movie stars in Hollywood and uh, and uh, football and uh, you know whatever it may be baseball basketball drug abuse alcohol abuse our, our, our ungodly desire to be we can't deal with the pains of being separated from Kodesh Boku so now we want to anesthetize ourselves this hospice mentality that I mentioned earlier we want to keep ourselves doped up on whatever it may be distracted Okay, and this is the biggest play of the Eitzahora is to distract us. One of the biggest things we're going we're gonna to have to be called in question for, and I myself more than anyone, is for wasting time. God gave me precious time, so many precious days on this earth that I wasted every one of them seeking to be distracted. That's why the internet's a problem. That's why television's a problem. That's why the radio is a problem. We need to... Instead of dis- disconnecting and being distracted, we need to connect it. The, the tikkun, and the repair is exactly the opposite. We have to run. Each and every one of us who are waking up and, 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 and those of us who, who have been awake for a little, we have to realize and, and, and put this into, into our very fiber of our being that, that the whole soul thing that I was created for and you were created for, okay, was to connect to a Kodesh Bohu. We have to connect to the source of our life. If we do that, you don't have to kill yourself working 72 hours a week cleaning houses, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to drive yourself crazy, okay? You know, that, you know who, who runs the world. There's three things we've talked about. We've talked, we've talked about arrogance, okay? Gaiva. We've talked about periodum, which is a, 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 un, being, being coming unrestrained. We talked about kfira, heresy. Okay, this delusion that we put ourselves, this mental matrix that we, we put ourselves in, this emotional mental matrix that we try to sustain, that they spend billions of dollars on to control your mind, to keep you disconnected from a Kodesh Bokho. It's a conspiracy, my friends, and I'm not a lunatic. It's a conspiracy of highest order. You have to understand that the Eitzahora has been working on this for thousands of years to do one thing and one thing only, to keep us distracted from a Kodesh Bokho so that we do not achieve our Tikkun in the world. Tikkun Olam. Because when the world gets to, to Tikkun Olam, then, okay, on its own, it comes in a, a the, our reunion with the Kodesh Bohu and the Shekhinah comes in a very sweet and loving manner. But if we fail to, 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 to complete Tikkun Olam, Hashem's going to help us. Only we may not like it too much because you're gonna be, you're, you're, your delusions are going to be stripped away in front of your eyes. You're going to be physically taken away from your addictions, okay? You're going it, it, to, you, it, it's going to be that you're going to be physically forced to connect to Hashem. Do we need it, people? Do we need earthquakes and typhoons and tornadoes and political upheaval to, 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 to bring us to the das, that there's a God in the world? and, we're, and, and, and he, he, If we don't do this soon, we're going to come to a place where we're going to be totally helpless. We're going to look around, and, and the money that we have in our pockets that we've stockpiled, is gonna, the paper's not going to be worth anything, okay? Okay? To, to walk into a store to buy a loaf of bread for your kids who are hungry, okay? That we're coming to a situation in the world, and, and I'm not a lunatic. You can, if you just glance at the news, okay? you'll see that things are happening today that have never happened in history before. Each one of them separately have happened in an isolated location, but we're seeing it on a global level that all these things are coming together simultaneously. So here I am, investing my time, being bitter to, to, to my Ratzon, trying to bring a message out, you know, this road to reality I call it waking up and draw and connecting to a Kodesh Bokhu what do you got to lose people what do you have to lose 
You got 29 days in Elul to, to, to start to, to, to convert yourself over to a new system which is being brought upon us anyway against our will. Disconnect. Turn your phone off. Turn the computer off. Stop the car in the rest area. Get out. Take a walk. Breathe some air. Talk to Hashem. Watch a bird eat. He, he doesn't have any fears. He eats because God provides for him. The cats and the dumpsters I see in the city here in Israel, they eat. Unfortunately, in, you know, not in such a clean uh, situation, but they eat. God provides for them. God provides for them. From the smallest amoeba to the largest of the whales, God provides for each and every one of them. Everything that every life needs, every blade of grass and the multitude of different types of grass, though, God gets each one of them exactly what they need. The nutrients and vitality that they need to grow and express His godliness in that form in the world. Think about it. Think about it. I'm going to Umen Be'ezad Hashem to be together with thousands of other Jews who are like-minded, Boch Hashem, that we want to sweeten the judgments in this world so that we can make the world better for everyone, Jew and Gentile alike. When, a, when Jews do what they're supposed to do and when the Gentiles understand that and, and they facilitate that by keeping the seven Noahide commandments, okay, when, when they come to that realization, we all start to line up with the, with the vibration or, you know, kind of, it could become fine-tuned, you know. You can have a guitar, but if it's out of tune, it doesn't sound well. We become tuned, spiritually tuned, and we start to play the most beautiful and wonderful symphony. It, it, this is what God, this is what God, he, he longs for it. He longs for us to play this seven billion part harmony, Right? Each one of our souls sings a cappella bayachad together. We, we, we sing a song to Hashem. Let's get in tune. Let's get in tune with Hashem. Let's get in tune with nature. Let's get in tune with each other. There's many different levels of being in tune. Okay? Let's decide to sing together. <laughs> Let's sing God's song this this 29th of September. Okay, of Rosh Hashanah. Okay, the last day of Elul. Let's sing a song to Hashem. You know, Ata Melech. En Od Milvado. There's nothing else but Him. Let's help bring and resonate a song in the world that everyone can hear that He is God. Hu Elohim. Okay, He is God. I'm not God. The UN's not God. Obama's not God. Okay, the Ayatollah Khomeini is not God. You know, the monks in Tibet aren't God. I'm sorry. The Pope's not God. <laughs> okay. The sun and the moon and stars aren't God. They're all manifestations of Hashem. Okay. But there's only one Elohim. Okay? He, there's only one God and He's the King that's in the field. He makes Himself accessible during the month of Elul. So take advantage of that. Again, you know, what do we need? Tweets? I have to send Twitters out every day? Boom, boom, boom. Come on, remember, remember. Every, you know, if you think about it, we as Jews, we have to say a hundred blessings a day, right? All right? If you divide it out, it's every eight minutes we have to we have to think about Hashem. So take a couple of minutes, take it a moon a moment, disconnect from this distraction, connect to a Kodesh Baruch Hu. spend five minutes talking to him. That's it, five real minutes in the world, and in that way, maybe each one of us will merit. To have five minutes of truth in each day. Work on it. You'll find yourself getting addicted to it. Five minutes turns into half an hour. Half an hour turns into an hour. An hour turns into six hours. Some of us, we long to be able to spend 24 hours awake talking to Hashem. But we have to sleep. So let's spend 18 hours a day talking to Hashem. Let's make even our work, everything we do, a conversation to Hashem. Because everything that we experience in our life is God's conversation with us. If you tune in, 
and you pay attention to your wife and kids tell you and the and the things you see and hear during the day you'll come to an experiential knowledge of, of starting to see Hashem in the world this matrix this code that makes up this creation will peel away and we'll start to see God's light in everything that, that, that manifests itself in this world God bless you Chodesh Tov from Beit Shemesh this has been Rav Nati from Yesh Malah Asot with the road to reality God bless and blessings for a new year Get to Uman, folks. <laughs> Yalla.